what a strong acid is from a weak acid. And a strong acid is an acid that ionizes completely. That means when HCl ionizes, it completely separates all of its H pluses from the molecule. So we have 100% what we call a dissociation or ionization, where there is no more H left over on the left side. This is a reaction here, and it produces H plus and Cl negative. And I want you to see that a strong acid adds all of their H pluses into solution. And when we look at the dissociation values, the dissociation constant, um, Ka in this case, strong acids have high values. Now, strong and weak are kind of opposites. And that's what we're going to find here, is that a weak acid does not ionize much. It definitely doesn't ionize completely. And, in fact, it ionizes very little to moderately. An example I'm going to give you here is acetic acid is going to ionize to form H plus and acetate. But I want you to see this also has a backwards component, which means there is going to be an equilibrium reached. Now, weak acids don't ionize much. That's true. And even when they do ionize, these two will also combine together to have a backwards reaction and go produce, again, acetic acid. So what we're looking at here is that they add some of their H pluses to solution, but not all. Definitely not all. And as a result, they are characterized by having a low dissociation value. So if we look at the dissociation constants, High constants indicate you have a strong acid and lots of dissociation. Low dissociation constants, you're going to have a low value for little dissociation. Now, the same thing that can be said for bases as well. So I'm just going to fly over this. A strong base dissociates or ionizes completely. And a weak base does not. What am I saying here is that all of the OH minuses are contributed into solution in a strong base where in a weak base only some of the OH minuses go into solution. So what is the only difference between strong and weak acids or strong and weak bases? I'd say the number one answer is ionization. You know, occasionally we might use the term dissociation. What we're looking at here, once again, is that in order to be considered a strong acid or a strong base, you must ionize completely, therefore contributing a major or maximum number of H pluses to the solution. So what are we looking at for H2O in order to be an acid and a base? There's a little checklist going on here. Hey, is it, is it an acid? Does it contribute H plus? Is it a base? Does it contribute OH minus? And lastly, does it ionize? Does it dissociate? Does it break apart? We have three checklists here that water needs to have in order to make it considered an acid or a base.
Hey dudes, that's all for tonight. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Peace.